Okay, so how do you upload your file at the end of the lesson? First thing is to locate the Excel file you have been working on and always check that it is the correct file and not the file you downloaded from the system, the blank one. Okay, how to check? Simply open it, double click it, open it, make sure you got your name, class and lecturer's email. Also, just look through that it's uh, not blank. Okay, something you have been working on, so it should be filled up you know, accordingly. All right, so if all is in order, you got your name there. All right, save it and close it. So this is the file we want to upload. And um, there is one more step before you upload. First of all, you cannot upload such a file because this is Microsoft Excel macro enabled worksheet okay anything that's macro enabled that will not be admitted into the system uh, you typically they are also not allowed to be emailed as attachments the uh, security will remove the attachments why is that because macro macros have the capability to execute commands on your system so they could contain viruses or they could mess up your system hence they are deemed as, as uh, risky files so we need to repackage them before we upload uh, first of all how do you identify a macro enabled file okay, one thing is to put your mouse over and uh, yeah, windows will tell you the file type okay another way is by reading off the file extension xlsm the m there will stand for macro enabled Okay, uh, by default, your Windows File Explorer does not show the file extensions. And how do you reveal them? Okay, so within your File Explorer, okay, usually this is what you see. What you do is click on the View menu. Most by default is on Home. So you click on View and you move your mouse towards the right. There will be this option here for File Name Extensions. Okay, by default it's turned off so you don't see the file extension. So what you do is to check the box, activate file name extensions, and then you will see the file name extensions there. Okay, so how to zip this file before we submit? What we do, I'm gonna right click on the file. Okay, right click. Okay, right click does a drop down menu. Scroll to round about just below the middle. There's this option send to okay and um, send to will open another sub menu move your mouse to the right carefully and select compressed zip bracket folder okay compressed zip folder click on that and what windows will do is compress the file and call it by the same name okay so now this file here has been packaged up it's like um, packaging something to be sent by post. Okay, you don't just send the item, you, you wrap it up, bubble wrap, or whatever to protect it. Okay, so zip is a packaging, uh, compress and package there. So inside this zip file will be your Excel macro file. Okay, so this is the zip file and we will upload this to the system.